Hey guys, we're playing Phobia today for this week's one shot. It's supposed to be a really scary game. I've heard nothing but good things about it. Hey guys, it's John, and today we are replaying another classic free indie horror game. This time we're gonna be replaying Phobia 1.5. This is a game that came out in 2014, and it scared the pants off of me back then. I guess it was five years ago, wow. But we're gonna check out just how scary it is today, five years later. Let's go ahead and begin. It all began in a rather abnormal day. I had been driving for hours, with still a couple more left to my destination. Being unfamiliar with the area, I took a wrong turn somewhere, which led me to drive for hours in a narrow road with no turning spots. Eventually running out of gas, I set on foot and started to look for shelter from the cold. The road seemed to go on forever, with no sign of life anywhere within miles. Finally reaching the end of the road, cold and exhausted, I saw a roof of a house appearing from behind the trees. It was a mansion. It looked like the place hadn't been touched for decades. When I opened the front door, my suspicions of the place being abandoned were confirmed. Disappointed for not getting the help I was looking for, but also relieved to get shelter from the freezing wind, I stepped in. And there we are. We're in Phobia 1.5. So, in case you couldn't tell, this game was developed using uh, FPS Creator. But it's probably the best FPS Creator horror game I've ever played. At least that's from what I remember. We'll see. But uh, it was developed by Jones Games and it was actually supposed to be kind of a remake of the original Phobia Fear of Darkness. There was going to be a sequel, I think, but considering it's been five years and I don't think one's been released, I'm not sure we'll ever see it. Oh, here we go. It's cold out here. Now the game does begin rather predictably, you know, car breaks down, forced to just take shelter somewhere. And I didn't have high expectations for it when I originally played it, but I remember really liking this one. It's stuck. However, it seems weak, and I could probably pry it open with a tool of some kind. What's in here? A box of matches. Okay, so we took some matches. It's really dark in here. I think eventually we get a light source, though. It's too dark to see anything. I better not go wandering out there without any light. Oop. So I guess we're looking for a light, huh? It's too dark to see anything. Better not go out there without a light. Understood. Okay, here's our lantern. Do you think I could take it with me or? Uh. Okay, I guess I'm in the basement right now. So we're just lighting all the lanterns. A keypad. Wonder what it's for. I don't have the combination though. It's really dark down here. A power switch. Okay, there we go. Now it's a lot easier to see. There's a loading screen. Okay. Seems to be locked from the other side. How is that possible? I guess we'll leave it for now. We got the power on though. So that means we're able to go somewhere else. All right, let's get out of the basement. Not scary. <laughs> I do remember doing that in my original playthrough. Scary. Not scary. Scary. Not scary. What, did I just have a thought? How do I get to my thoughts? 
I think there's a way to access inventory. Oh, here we go. It's starting to get cold. I should look around the house and see if I can warm up the place. Well, oops. I didn't mean to open that door. I just kind of clicked. So we can go upstairs. I mean, when I think warm up the place, I think fireplace. Okay, here we go. Here's a fireplace. How's that? It's getting late and I'm tired from driving the whole day. I should look for a bed to sleep in. Oh. Feeling safe and at home already, huh? It's an old newspaper from 1968. Nurse gone missing from the local hospital at yesterday evening. Police is suspecting kidnapping. Hmm, a nurse was kidnapped, huh? That sucks. Okay, place is lit up. Place is warm. I suppose it's time to go to sleep then. Let's see, where are the stairs? I think back here. Right here. Okay, here we go. Here's the stairs. Let's go to sleep. What's the worst that could happen? Won't budge. Hmm. Ooh. A note. I might be getting paranoid. I even installed a word lock to the tool cabinet. Feel like I'm too careful sometimes, which might just be a good thing. Considering the importance of my work, I just need to remember the password. Why didn't you write it down? Write it down so we can all learn it. All right, well, let's go to bed. Which I, where's the bed? Is it this way? Bed? It's locked. Bed? No? It's a library. Oh, you don't look creepy. Hi. Report number 27, August 20th, 1967. Moving to this house was for the best for the experiment. I've done a lot of progress ever since. The place is perfectly in the middle of nowhere without any distract out of any distractions or any curious eyes. Though it gets a little lonely out here from time to time, but the experiment is too important for such minor emotions. Is that why you kidnapped the nurse? Cause it got lonely? Oh, a key. Does this key open the bedroom? You just left it on a shelf, huh? Now unlocked. Okay, yeah, this is the bedroom. It's, uh, oh, oh, close the door. Very enthusiastic doors here. The mixture seems to be too powerful for the rats. I'll have to find something bigger as a test subject. Like the nurse you kidnapped? The mixture still lacks a few ingredients and I'm running out of my budget funds. I feel like I'm finally getting somewhere with the experiment, but it's too important to be dropped because of this. I'll have to think about something. Okay. A little suspect, but let's go to bed. What's that noise? I don't know, but it's loud. It's louder down here. God, that's deafening. Can you keep it down? Guy's trying to get some sleep out here. The noise stopped now. Could have been anything. Like just some animals scratching the pipes, rats in the walls, or just noises of the old house. Whatever it was, it stopped now. I should try and get some, some more sleep. Okay. Here I go. Walking over the creaky ass floor. And yes, I am sprinting everywhere. I know I'm supposed to be tired, supposed to be like lagging behind, taking my time, but I'm real eager to get some sleep. Let's close that door. Here we go. I like that noise. There's something about it. 
and about how it gets louder downstairs before suddenly stopping and then you go back to bed. It's like, you can't expect something to happen. But the game, it doesn't show its hand just yet, you know? It's like, yeah, you heard a weird noise, but uh, it just stopped, so guess it was nothing, right? Although I'd like to say, I'd like to know what large ass animal this character thought was making that noise. Cause that was loud. I've never slept as poorly as I just did. I need to find a way to get into the rest of the rooms of the house. There's bound to be fuel somewhere in here. Let's go, let's go get some fuel. Nightmare fuel. I don't know what it is about calling things other than gasoline fuel, but if you do it, I'm gonna make fun of you. If you're drinking your Mountain Dew Code Red and you're like, this is my gamer fuel, I'm gonna make fun of you, you freaking nerd. If you call like a Sesame Street Muppet nightmare fuel, I'm gonna make fun of you too. It's just, I don't know what it is about it. I don't like it. Let's look around for fuel though. Actual fuel, oh! It looks like there was a key hiding under the firewood. With the firewood burned off, it revealed it. Thank you for explaining to me why it's in the fireplace. I mean, I, I think I figured it out. But, uh... We got a locked door we could open. I gotta remember where to go on this map, because this... This house is kind of big. Here we go. A garage! This is what I was looking for. Now let there be fuel! What, like your god or something? You just brought it into existence? Let there be fuel! It's a map of the house. Oh, this is actually really useful. The kithen is over there. <laughs> uh, I've walked through the kithen many times. Okay. So I'll, let me just memorize this real quick. Okay, I got it. I've memorized the map. The metal cabinet is locked with a puzzle of some kind. One to nine keys to select. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so eight different letters. Is it an anagram? Can we swap it around? Paranoid? It says paranoid. But I don't think we're supposed to be able to solve it just yet. I had an incident at the hospital yesterday. Oh wait, I was getting some supplies when I got caught in the act by a nurse. I guess it was just a matter of time, even if it was the last installment I needed. I can't afford to go to prison. I can't afford to waste any time. I can't afford for anyone knowing about the experiment. I couldn't risk my life's work, so I brought her here. Wow, so you did kidnap the nurse. We already knew that. You're guilty as shit. How do I, okay, wait. Oh, okay, so we can rearrange these. I think I'm paranoid and complicated or whatever the lyrics are. Garbage, anyone? Shirley Manson? Let's take this, a crowbar. Got it. I know some of you are probably thinking paranoid by Black Sabbath, but I'm unpredictable. Uh, there was no fuel in the garage. I don't know what to do now. It's starting to get cold. I should light the fireplace again. Again? Is there any wood left? We found the key because all the wood burned up, I thought. Is there still wood there? Need to find more firewood in order to light up the fireplace again. Well, where are we gonna find more wood? So yesterday I played through One Late Night, which in my opinion didn't really hold up six years later. And a lot of it was due to like, doing seemingly random things. No point in wandering out there in the cold. Or are we supposed to get firewood? Here though, like the steps that you take seem kind of natural. It's like, I gotta get fuel for my car, right? Scary, not scary. You know, and then it's like, ah, oh, it's getting kind of cold. I should probably reignite the fireplace because it's, you know, it's the next day. Not gonna be able to do anything if I'm is there wood back here, would you say? Let's let's burn the pallet. Burn the wooden pallet. Why not? But it's it's much more believable and it really helps 
and getting immersed when you kind of you believe what your character's doing or what it has to do next you know what what they feel is important you also find important oh the crowbar on this thing of course oh i'm stuck oh i just had to click a bunch the old crowbar broke in the process. Ah, okay, I see it's old. It's just that one word, old. Old crowbar broke. Cause it'll, I mean, in most games when you use a crowbar, it's one and done. But at least it's specified this time, you know, it's old, okay? It was barely hanging in there. The mixture seems to have rather strange side effects. The test subject has started to forget things. It's not just amnesia either. She's forgetting everything. Well, so it is amnesia. <laughs> right? Right? Generalized amnesia. The test subject has forgotten just about everything. Where she is, who she is, or even what she is. The mixture seems to destroy brain cells. Some of the side effects are also extreme aggression and mutation. Hmm. Interesting. Can we take this uh, ladder? I don't remember the exact process by which we get through this game, but I do remember we had to get this ladder at some point, I think. So I'll, I'll hang on to that in my memory banks. So remember where this is. All right, but we got the firewood, and let's see if my training has paid off. This is the kithen. So the dining room is right here. Probably took the longer way to get to it. Okay. While it's still warm, I should try and get some sleep and think about my next move tomorrow. So all we did today was we opened up the garage, found some firewood and lit the fireplace. Now we're going to bed. I guess it makes sense though, because they start off saying, I've never slept as poorly as I just did. So they're probably real tired. Okay, is it this way? Let's see if I remember correctly. Yes. Close that door. Let's go to bed. Hello? That goddamn noise again. Let's go check it out. Making me <laughs> walk around the entire house. Okay. That was fun. That's a fun little nightmare sequence. I think uh, it could be improved, but I'll talk about that at the end. I still like it. Okay. The game did crash, so I had to reload it, but it's FPS creator. That's just kind of something that happens bad engine in my opinion what a horrible nightmare it felt so real so now what genius ah the soundtrack's different i 
keep checking. Keep checking to see if it's open. All right, plot your next move, buddy. What are we gonna do next? Should we go check the basement? Because the door did come off. It did come off. What the? But it was just a dream. Something was locked in here and it got out. There's something in the house with me. Whoa. <laughs> Music, very dramatic. There's something drawn on this paper. So it looks like a hole in the floorboards? Hatch of some kind, maybe? Is that drawing referring to a hatch of some kind? That's almost exactly what I said. That's kind of weird. Dead rats. Looks like it... Looks like something has been feeding on them. Wow. So look for a hatch. Alright. I'll go do that. Something in the house with me, though. What? Oh, that- Oh, something's moving around, alright. Oh! There it is! Okay. <laughs> I love that frantic chase music. Okay, I did not know. Oh, and then the painting changed. Before it was just, it was a shadow version of that. Where is it? I can go back up here. Okay. There's something in here. A note. I had an accident in the lab today. I was trying to give another dose for the test subject when even being tied up, she managed to knock the needle off of my hands. I think I might have got a small drop of it in my eye. Went to wash it immediately after that, so it's probably nothing. Oh! Oh! This is what happened last time! That, that exact scene happened the last time I played. It's like set up for that. Thankfully, we're much faster than it. Ooh. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? Th we're trying to go to the hatch, right. Where's the hatch though? I guess it could hear the floorboards creak, so it knew I was up there. Well, it's gonna hear me again. I, I want to say the hatch is in the study. Oh, oh, it's right here. That's the hatch to the attic. I need something to climb up there. Like the ladder that I talked about earlier. Okay. I hear, I hear walking, so... Not in here. It's in the other one. It's in the other, uh... Was it that way? I'm walking, because I don't know... Hey, I'm walking here. There's no way he's out here. This door's... Let's close it, close it! Ah, you made a ton of noise just now, you idiot. It's not out here, though, because the door was closed. I don't think that thing is, like, careful enough to close doors. Let's take the ladder. Okay, so now we go back up to the second floor.
Where is it? Normally I like... Normally I like directional audio. So you know where stuff is, but I kind of like that it... You have no idea where it is here. Let's see if we can go back upstairs. Hopefully it's not up here. But if it is, we'll just give it the slip. Okay, cool. We made it to the second floor. No, no! Go, 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 go! <laughs> give me that loading screen! <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, here we are, in the, uh, attic, which, um, how do you crouch? Oh, space. Space is crouch. I was pressing C and control. What is it? Why did the drawing lead me here? What is the person who drew it trying to show me? I don't know, but let's trust them, I guess. What else are we gonna do? Go outside? I know you're not into that. Okay, all right. There's light coming from behind this cabinet. <gasps> okay, wait. Something over here, though. What's all? Oh, it's just a lamp. Should I go back there, though? It's locked. Okay, so I should go back. Find the cabinet. Alright, here we go. I know. I know, monster, you can hear me running all around here. It's because I'm cocky. Key. Okay, that's all that was in here. I didn't want to make sure. Let's go, let's go. <coughs> Bless me. Ha cha! I'm like Lightning McQueen. Ka cha! Oh wait, no, it's ka chow! Or what does Lightning McQueen say? I don't know. Who cares? Did anyone even see the Cars movies on purpose? I'm definitely infected by the mixture. I was driving somewhere. I don't for the life of me remember where. When just suddenly I simply forgot how to drive. Just all of a sudden any knowledge of how to operate a car vanished from my mind, causing me to crash the damn thing into a ditch somewhere. Seems like I'm stuck in here now. I need to start working on some kind of an antidote and fast. Why didn't I work on an antidote when the test subject started showing the symptoms? Whoever it was, whoever it is or was, and wherever I got it from. All of my knowledge of the mixture is fading out of my mind, and I need to read back my reports in order to manufacture the antidote. It doesn't make it any easier with the reports being scattered all around the place. I'm finished. I can't continue working on the antidote because I forgot the code for the lab door. Why is there a code even? Why is the lab hidden in the basement? What experiment can even be so important that I went as far as using a human as a test subject? What was this experiment even? Okay, so, mad scientist guy who wanted to do his experiments here, in the remote cabin. He got infected. He, he kidnapped the nurse, experimented on her, but then he got infected by the same mixture he used on her, and so he's also suffering memory loss, just like she did. She was uh, suffering from amnesia, right? So now he's forgetting everything. And he forgot the code to the basement. What is the code to the basement? There's a hidden laboratory in the basement? Doesn't sound welcoming, but it might be worth to have a look. Like I have any options, either. I mean, there might be fuel in there. There might be fuel in the laboratory. So what else? Do we have like a key or? Hang on. 1968? Might be the code? I don't know why it would be. What? What's up, dude? <laughs> You're a bad shot. Let's go. What did I fall? I fell through the... Oh. 
I fell through the floor. In a good way, not in a buggy way. <laughs> Red filter. Are we hurt? Oh yeah, because we fell through the freaking floor. That just happened. Feels like I broke something, but it appears I survived the drop. At least that thing didn't jump after me. The hidden laboratory is the only place I haven't searched yet. The code for the door has to be written down in here somewhere. Okay. Maybe on the diploma? Some kind of a medical science diploma dedicated to someone named Redward... Eh, Redward. What is wrong with me? Edward Rupert Frankfelt. That's a hell of a name. E R F. Hmm. Another note. I need to keep writing these down to remind myself. Fortunately, I had the code written down somewhere. I can't remember where anymore, but I also just wrote it down in a note because I can't seem to memorize it. But where's the note now? I'm sure I left it in the dining room somewhere. Knowing me, the lab must something fire exit somewhere, but even if I remembered where it was, I doubt I can get in that way. In the dining room. So the dining room has the code. Oh. Right. So we're out here. I love, I love the visual of just the broken down door. I think it's not used enough. Probably because like a lot of horror games don't really feature like animal-like aggression from enemies. At least in my opinion. A lot of times like the enemies in horror games are they they're try to be they try to portray them as more like calculated like they're plotting and planning stuff and this is why I want a werewolf horror game I want something that's just like a total beast after me something that's just total instinct and savagery claws fangs and fur that kind of thing Okay, this thing's definitely gonna be hunting for me, but let me see. What was the code, though? 1968. But would you say there's... Is there a note somewhere in here? Oh, wait. What? I found the code. I had it written down behind my self-portrait. I need to write it down immediately. The code is one. Something so effective of the about the boom. Oh, it's definitely it's definitely out. But where is it? Well, we can outrun it. I'm not worried. I do like that it kind of flails around. What was that? Did it come out of the top? Bottom? Fuck, let's go. I'm running. Yep, it's after me, all right. Let's go to the study, though. It's opening doors. Self-portrait, let's go. No, it's referring to this painting, but the code isn't behind it. Is behind the canvas? I need something to cut it open. Like what? Cut it open? I was like on a mad sprint here. Oh no. Cut it open. Knife. Kitchen. Okay. Because I remember... I do remember making a big deal about that. When I originally played. Because I saw the knife in the kitchen and I was like, Why don't you just pick up the knife? What the hell's the matter with you? Kitchen, or kithen, I should say. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is it. The blade seems dull, but this kitchen knife should still be able to cut the canvas off of that painting. Let's take it with us. Should I go back the way I came? Or should I go around the other side? Let's go back the way I came. Fuck! Whoa, okay. Oh no, the 
this is the... Ah! That was the bad way. Okay. Oh! Did you lose me? What? How'd you get... How'd you get all the way over there? So quickly! Let's go open the canvas right now. Maybe we'll lose him. Ah, too fast for your ass. Been saying that for like seven years. What is it? 193 blank. The last number has been completely worn out, making it impossible to read. 193 blank. So I just gotta try them? Trial and error style? 1931, 1932. Alright, here we go. I know it's really dark, guys, sorry. Maybe I'll up the gamma in editing. To make it easier to see. Right here, right here. 19-3, what? Hopefully it doesn't come after me. I know it's sprinting everywhere, so you know. Okay. That did it. 1934. Here we go, here we go. Into the laboratory. All right. Finally made it. I think I did it a lot faster this time, but I mean, I, I mean, I have played this before, but I don't remember like specifics. It's been five years. I always liked this place though. I remember the laboratory. This place gives me the creeps. How did a single person achieve all of this? And for what purpose? Actually, I don't really care. All I want is some fuel for me to get out of this awful nightmare. They literally want nightmare fuel. I should search this place thoroughly. That monster is total nightmare fuel. Door is stuck in his place. I'm not strong enough to force it open. I still have the knife with me. I wonder if it's sturdy enough to pry this open. You have to spam click. So we go into the vent? Right, okay. That's a dead end. Here? Left or right, right? Right's a dead end, left. We're gonna have to remember the exact route. Thanks a lot for leading me back out to the same place I was. It says that it's a fire exit and the door will open only in case of an emergency. Okay. Hmm. So this one. This one I haven't explored. Left is a dead end, right? Go along the right. Left? So this is a new area, okay. Beakers and notes. I don't even know why I'm writing this. I just feel the need. I have been locking the doors for some reason. I feel like hiding something. I'm locking myself in the basement behind the metal door. Something is about to happen to me. I don't know what. I don't remember. I don't want to hurt anybody. The metal door is operated by electricity. It won't open without power once I have locked it from the other side. Turning the power out now. All along, for decades, it was locked behind that metal door in the basement, and I let it out by switching the power back on. Ah. I see. That's kind of cool that there's a little bit of, like, self-blame there. It's like... 
The store is stuck in his the door is stuck in his place, so I'm strong enough to help force it open. This must be the test subject. What a horrible fate. I can't even see it. Really tough to see. I guess this is the nurse then. Maybe? Is there anything else? So this is just, just for shock value, huh? Now what though? Now where do we go? Do I just leave? Well, there was another place we could go in the vent, I think. Wait. Is this fuel? I can't believe it, it's fuel. This is almost too good to be true. I found what I was looking for. Fuel, finally. Now I just have to get the hell out of here. There's a lot of fuel. I guess for their, uh, machines. <laughs> it's gonna go look at ya. Whatever is in those cylinders, it's highly explosive. I need to get going before the whole place blows up. Oh. Oh. Uh, right. Left? No! Bad. Wow. Oh, you don't have much time at all. Oh, you don't have much time. We get it, it exploded! 10 minutes later. And that's how it all ended. I felt the life flowing out of my body along with the remaining blood while the pain stopped as my body grew numb. And then I saw the light. Did it have to end like this? No. No, that's not the true ending. I'm on, I'm on the golden ending path right now. Phobia 1.5 dash all endings. Shocking truth revealed. That's my clickbait title for this five-year-old horror game. Oh no, I gotta redo this. All right, here we go. Let's watch this again. Bam! Oh no! <laughs> my plan foiled. Okay, let's go. So I mapped this out beforehand. Like I looked. Made sure I knew I was gonna go through the vents. You hug the right wall in this one. And then you pop right out. There we go. Won't open. It won't open. Here, fire exit. Go, go, go. Okay, cool. Now, we just go out the front door. We just walk out the front door and we're a free man with our fuel for our car. Runtime error. Image does not exist at line 46649. Uh-oh. Okay, fingers crossed this time. Yes, it worked, okay. Right. Okay. So that was the exit for the laboratory right there. I just barely made it out of there. Now I just had to get to the front door and I'm out of here. Hopefully that thing blew up along with that lab of his. It's yellow outside. Why? Why is it? Is it daytime? Oh. The explosion has caused extensive damage to the house, making it dangerous to travel through. I need to be careful. A what?
Okay, I get it. Oh my god. Ooh. How do I... What? I don't go down there. Do I go through here? Oh no. Oh, I go up here. Do I drop down here? Wait, just... I'm all the way back. Okay, so I think instead of going that way, you go this way. It's so hard to see. Okay, this is correct. It's just really dark. Like, I can, I can barely see. You little troll! I can't believe that! Okay. Let's try it again. Now, where did I fall? Okay. So, bypass that. Okay. We're, we're past it. Hi! Oh! Ow! Bye-bye! <laughs> See ya, sucker! <laughs> I think that might be it. When I got out of the house, I ran as fast as I could. I didn't even stop for a second to turn around and check if that thing went after me. I didn't care about exhaustion, I just ran till I was at my car again. Quickly after that, I got the car running and was back on the road again. The more distance I got from the house, the more relieved I felt. I headed to the nearest town to finally have some rest and to tell everyone about this nightmare hidden in the woods so no other unlucky person could stumble in it. Because I know, I'll never recover from the horrors I experienced in there. Yeah, that was good. I think it's still good today. Is it, is it as good as it was in 2014? No, but I think it holds up pretty well, actually. I still, I still like Phobia 1.5. I think it's still, I, I think my biggest takeaway from it is, I think it's very well designed. And for an FPS creator game that looks like that, it really has no right to be scary. Cause I've played tons of games that look a lot like this. Okay, let's compare this one to the classic bad horror game by GD Nomad, Wooden House, which was clearly inspired by this and tried to do everything that it did. But the thing about Wooden House is that it had all the elements. It looked the part. It had a very similar layout and story and scares and everything. But they weren't well executed. I think this... I think the execution is what carries this game more than anything. Generic story, you know car breaks down, you take shelter in the nearest house, which just so happens to be a place where experimentation went on, right? Story's nothing special. But I think the sound design is very good. I do have some nitpicks, like for example, the nightmare sequence with the door being knocked down. That was one of my favorite parts of the original game, so I remembered it almost beat for beat. I did notice during the nightmare sequence, when you move through a doorway in this game, the music cuts off and it either begins again or it switches to a different track. And when you're hearing that noise in the basement, that and it cuts itself off because you entered a new room, it dilutes the tension quite a bit. I think it would have been better, and this is probably what they meant to do, to have it be an ever-present sound in the background that increasingly gets louder. And that's clearly what they were going for, but it's not 
what we ended up playing. Like, the sound's there, you enter a new room, it goes away or it gets cut off, and then you enter a new room and it's back. It's just, it's not the same as having it be this, like, you know, pulsating rumble in the background, like I think it was intended to be, like I said. So that kind of dilutes the tension in the nightmare sequence and it happens a couple other times in the game as well just the music suddenly switching but with that said I one thing I was kind of struck by is that the game has unique soundtracks for each part of the game like the laboratory from what I could tell at least the laboratory has its own music um, when the monster gets released from the basement, the music changes. The game does a good job of letting the soundtrack carry the atmosphere. And that's something I'm particularly struck by because it's not something I can say about a lot of games. A lot of games have other ways of creating atmosphere, but I think with this one, it's the soundtrack that really makes it. And considering a lot of the sounds and probably music that it uses, I think are stock. I think it's, I think I, I heard some Kevin McLeod in there, I might be wrong. But I definitely heard some sound effects that I, oh wait, there it was. Okay, yeah, yeah, Kevin McLeod, there it was, what'd I say? Some of them, more than the others, have been modified by me. That's good, but like, uh, I think that it was used correctly. And it's okay to use stock stuff if you use it right. So, I don't know, that's that's what I have to say about Phobia 1.5. Is the monster particularly scary? No. But, uh, yeah, here at freesound.org. So a lot of these sounds I've heard before. But, I mean, it was used well. So, yeah. I enjoyed Phobia 1.5. And I think it holds up. I don't think it's, like, scariest free horror game of all time or anything but considering it's made an FPS creator password 2236 huh password 2236 all right so I used the password 2236 to open up an extras folder. The extras folder had a couple trailers for other versions of Phobia that were never released, so if you're interested, you can download the game in the description and enter the password 2236, check out the trailers for yourself. They weren't especially interesting, but they did showcase some better looking versions of the game that appeared to be slated for release in the future. But it's been five years, and I don't think we've seen any of them. So I guess this is, like, the best version of the game that we're ever gonna see. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what happened with Jones Games, uh, or what they've been working on, or... What's going on? Why they didn't release other versions of Phobia that they were clearly working on, but... Uh, it's a shame, because I thought this was a pretty good game, and... You know... I, I think it holds up in 2019. I'm trying to take into account when I'm assessing this game that this is my second time playing it. Even if I don't remember everything, it's my second time experiencing it. So the parts that stood out the first time I'm gonna remember, you know? And they're not gonna hit me as hard. But I still think it's a solid horror game, especially for something that's free. And I still recommend it. I had a good time. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments about Phobia 1.5. Does it hold up in 2019? And if it does, why? If it doesn't, why not? Let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Think critically.